Hey guys, it's Derek here. Today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new figures that have either been announced or will be released very, very soon. And some of them have come from the OneFest 2022 Summer and the Mega Hobby Expo. By the time this comes out, some things may have also popped up, and we may or may not touch on that too, but let's get started. Starting off with a bit of a controversial figure, the Kitakawa Marin from Aniplex. Now this one's only available on Aniplex Plus for the most part. There are some other websites that you can get the figure through, but they're more or less all sold out. They actually made it primarily only a Japanese resident kind of thing and three per household, meaning a lot of the proxies have already used up their slots. I know that because I may have tried to use a proxy to secure this figure with no luck. I can expect this to be very, very sought after in the aftermarket. And like with all the other waifus that Aniplex has actually made before, this might get to that 800 to thousand dollar grail mark. I'm not that excited about that. They also went and announced a brand new one of her in a swimsuit. You know that bikini scene that we saw with her and Gojo? That's also going to become a figure. There's already a gray prototype that's out, but there's not a whole lot of information on here. And I'm guessing pricing is gonna be much higher just right out of the bat, just because there's a lot more plastic involved. I would expect to pay at least 25,000 yen and upwards, but definitely another one to keep your eye out for. Next up is seemingly everyone's favorite figure manufacturer, Alter. Now, I don't really have any figures from them just yet, but I would love to add this one to the collection as well, and that's the Tomiyuki Gyu from their Alt Air line. I believe this is their male-only figure line, because they have a few other ones, but he does look really, really good here. Very simplistic pose, he's kind of just hovering over here, and he has a sword out to the side, but the waves on the bottom look very good. It kind of reminds me of what, like, a one- fourth scale or quarter scale statue would look like, but this is a 1 8 scale. It's going to be very good quality from what I can see, and the price is alright. It's about 20,800 yen. This should be a June 2023 release if nothing goes wrong, and I think we may have to replace some of the Aniplex Demon Slayer figures if Alter keeps on coming up with stuff, but we'll see. Moving on to a slightly more controversial figure manufacturer, we have Furyu. They have two figures here, part of their FNX line that have caught my eye, and of course their waifus. One of them is a a rem and that is the aqua orb version it's very similar to the egg version that's been on pre-order for a little bit so this is i think one of those situations where you have to pick and choose between which one you like better there's no pricing information for this figure yet but i would fully expect it to be similar to the egg one and be about 28 to 30 000 yen so not cheap and the second one is hestia from danmachi now this is the wedding bride version i think and it does look very good it is still a great prototype and there's no pricing information but the design looks pretty solid. We have kind of like a skirt in the front and a train in the back. So you do get to see her legs a little bit. Hopefully the coloring isn't as terrible as that wedding dress rem that I may or may not be getting rid of. I'm interested to see what the colored prototype looks like, but I'm not holding my breath and it all really depends on that prototype. So we'll see. For anyone looking to add to their JoJo collection, Good Smile Company has three more Nendoroids on the way from Stone Ocean. We have, I think, Enrico Pucci, Hermes Costello, and Foo Fighters. I honestly haven't gotten that far in JoJo yet, so I don't know who these are, but I know there are people out there that definitely like JoJo Nendoroids. Kyle. Moving on to Hobby Max, they're going to be expanding their Radio Eva line a little bit more with another series with different poses of your favorite Eva pilots. They're going to be in both colorways, so you're bound to get something you like here. And of course, they're wearing beautiful streetwear. I wouldn't mind wearing some of that streetwear if it wasn't like 40 degrees out right now. With the recent season of Overlord airing, we're going to be getting some new figures here as well, and some from Kodakawa. We have a Albedo and Shaltir in a bride version. They're going to be kind of laying down a little bit, looking up at you. They do look pretty good, and they have a lot of great detail. They're not really my cup of tea, but you might be interested in picking these up. Now, for I think our most infamous manufacturer, we have E-Stream. They have some new stuff from Jujutsu Kaisen that is fully painted now. We saw the great prototypes of Toge and Nanami a few months ago, but now we actually get to see what they look like. The paint job does look really solid on both, but you may have noticed some beautiful support rods that are right in front and center, which for me is basically a non-starter. But leave it to Mega House to kind of extract more of our money from our wallets. They're going to be releasing a very popular character from One Piece, and that is Shanks in Portrait of Pirate Playback memory form. So this is going to be pre-time skip, him at Marine Ford blocking an attack. I don't know if this means that we're also going to be getting the other person that launched the attack. That'd be kind of cool to have a second version of him as well, but yeah, I'm not going to really spoil that in case anyone hasn't got there yet. The figure itself does look pretty good and decent, and because Shanks hasn't had very much screen time in the anime, we don't really 
really know what the heck he does. So we might have to wait till Film Red comes out and actually see him do a few more things, if he does anything there at all. He does look really good if you are filling out your pre-time skip collection, so do keep an eye on him. He's going to be releasing for 20,000 yen. Might be a solid pickup. Not really quite for me. I'm kind of waiting for a statue, but... We'll wait, we'll see. Mega House is also releasing a new Portrait of Heart Maximum. Keyword on the, the, the mom, because the M, the second M is actually capitalized and a little bit bigger. They don't really do this kind of thing, but this teaser almost 100% guarantees we're getting a big mom. And that'd be really cool if you want to fill out your collection. And the last Mega House figure we're going to look at is Tengen. They finally released what he looks like completely colored and he looks pretty decent. It's a very simple pose. You do get to see the tatami in the back with a lot of blood splatter because of what happened in season two and he's a little bit bang like danged up. However, there is one fatal flaw here. His muscles don't seem big enough. If you've seen the anime or read the manga, you know that his deltoids, the shoulder muscles, are basically bowling balls or like watermelons. Next year in April is going to be a very good month for any of you Genshin Impact players because Kotobukiya is going to be giving us a Ether and Lumine. Lumine? Lumine. They're going to be releasing for 16,800 yen and they look pretty solid overall. Got a nice little patch of grass in the very front there and I think they look great together. Of course, I don't have very much more to say about them. Pre-order away. And now for the manufacturer that I personally think stole the show, <laughs> Prime One and their Prism wing line. Prisma, Pris, Prisma wing line. They finally showed off a fully colored version of that Milum that they teased a while back of her and that honey with Rimuru. This looks freaking amazing. <laughs> I know I talked about it before. I did pre-order another one, but I may have canceled that in order to get this one. There's not a whole lot of information in terms of when it comes out and the pricing yet, but this is probably the best looking one. And it doesn't look too lewd either. They also put out a 3D render of a triple figure. We have Rumaru, Benimaru, and also Ranga on there. <laughs> Not quite sure that Prime One understands what a figure is supposed to be, because this is basically a statue. But I'm kind of worried about the price, so we'll have to wait and see. But I don't have any Rimuru's yet, so this would be a great addition. And now a moment of silence for everyone who collects Quintuplets merch. Prime One has announced all five of the Quints sitting on a pillow and a couch. You can combine everyone together, but each one's gonna cost about like 28,900 yen. That's a lot of money to pay. Albeit, they did give you a cushion that is on the sofa that looks like it's in real material or like a suede material. I don't know if that's enough to jack up the price that much, but if you really like your waifus, you're going to get it anyways. If you do end up buying the entire set off of the Prime One website with pre-order, the bonus on there is actually an extra two pillows that are actual pillows. Yeah, I'm not going to do it, but you might. For anyone who's worried about the Aniplex modding situation, I wouldn't worry too too much because Quest Q may have solved our issue. They're going to be releasing scales of Madin and Sajuna, the, the the shorter one, the high the high schooler, not the middle schooler, the the shorter one, the one that we yeah that one. There's not a whole lot of information here. We did just get the announcement, but hopefully it's kind of like generic schoolgirl uniform version, so we can kind of replace the ones from Aniplex because those are basically unobtainable. For all the JP Hollow Live fans out there, they're going to be releasing another scale this time from Revolve, and that is the Singing Angel herself, Kanata. I know she's also called a gorilla. I wrote a joke in here, but yeah, delivery didn't really work. Her great prototype does look pretty good. The base is really solid and you get a lot of other star effects. My only issue with this is the support beams because they added two in the back. She's standing on one leg. Why is she standing on one leg if you need support beams? Personally, for any figure out there, not just her, I would prefer them to have both feet on the ground and no support beams. Just a thought. Hopefully this changes. I don't know. Hopefully. Do you guys remember when I said I might start collecting some Jujutsu Kaisen figures? Well, maybe thanks to Sega and their s line, I might actually get that chance. Because they're going to be releasing all three of the first years. We get Megami, Yuji, and also Nobara. Now, I'm really excited to see what the actual painted prototypes or painted versions versions will look like because there's not a whole lot going on here. We just have an announcement and a picture. But if these are anything like the other figures that they've announced and shown prototypes for, we should be very happy because they're very, very good about paint, especially when light reflects off of dark surfaces. And in this case, their uniforms are incredibly dark. You knew I had to cover another Rem before this video ended though. And S-Fire has another one here. It's rather unique. It's Rem holding Rem. They also did make a Ram holding a Ram and an Amelia holding an Amelia, but you get the point. For whatever reason, they made Rem running or walking forward with one of her feet up, which means there's another clear support beam. That she's the only one of the three that's doing that. And it hurts my soul a little bit because that's the one I would actually collect. <laughs> For 
also gonna sprinkle in a little bit of uh, Hatsume Miku here. Esfire also did one and she is panda themed. There's gonna be bamboo in the back. She's gonna be holding um, Yetlong or one steamer thing of panda bao, which looks pretty cool. And she looks really happy. I can expect this to be decently expensive. Upper 20,000s at least, but she looks good. Kyle's probably gonna get it. Thanks Kyle. Let me review it. Bunny girls are pretty awesome. I think we can all agree with that. But what's better than girls dressing up as bunnies? An actual bunny girl. Madoko from My Hero Academia is going to be getting a figure, which is kind of cool. This is going to be by Spiritail, and there's not a whole lot of information yet, but I'm really excited to see how this turns out. It's also a Suyu coming. Keto. Sticking with that theme of anime theme waifus, we have another Sakuraji Mamai. This one is a Chinese dress version, and it's also by Spiritail. This is probably the best looking Mai that's not in a traditional uniform. That's saying a lot. I think this might be my favorite. It's really, really high up there. It's very unique because she has her legs kind of crossed. She's sitting down on a crescent moon and she gives off this Chinese goddess vibe. There's a lot of nice clouds everywhere and the flowers that pop up are very, very nice. This, however, is a little bit more expensive. I think primarily because of the base. This is going for 29,000 yen, so a little pricey. And we finally made it to the last figure we're going to be talking about. And it's a very hyped up one, at least in my opinion, because if you guys like Marin, you're going to like the polar opposite of Marin in Komi. Wave's going to be making a Komi from Komi Can't Communicate, and she looks really good. I know it's still in the gray prototype stage. I don't expect it to cost too much. And she is in her traditional schoolgirl uniform, which does look really good. I'm really excited about this one, and hopefully they can deliver. But if it's anything like the Chica I've actually seen before, part of the Dream Tech line, we're in good hands. And there we go. We made it to the very end of the video. And here are just some of the things that have caught my eye. But if you want a full list of pretty much everything else that's been announced over the last like weekend or two, I'll leave a link down below that you can go and check everything else out there. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider giving this a like as well. And let me know. I would like some feedback. Do you guys like these news videos or release related videos? Give me your thoughts. I would love some feedback there. I'm gonna leave a video over there if you guys haven't seen some of the more recent releases that I've put out, so go check them out as well. My name's Derek and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Okay,